And one of the witnesses to this violence actually started recording what was going on live. Those frightening images are piecing together a timeline of the mayhem. Tessa DeTiro spoke with that witness a short time ago, and Tessa, you're live at the hospital. What did he tell you? Well, hi, Megan. First, I want to give you some new information. So just within the last half hour, Princeton High School confirmed that 16-year-old Milo Watson, who was killed in this shooting, he was an 11th grade student at the high school. They say that grief counselors are on scene, and of course, they send their prayers to Milo's family. Now, police tell us that three other juveniles were injured. One is a 17-year-old girl fighting for her life in critical condition, two others with minor injuries. And that man when I, that I spoke with, an 18-year-old from Cincinnati, says that he captured what happened just after the shots were fired. The Facebook Live recording begins by showing people running and a lot of police at Smale Riverfront Park. Next, the video captures Cincinnati firefighters performing CPR on one of those victims. The man taking the video starts walking to try to get out of the area. He says at this point he was nervous for his safety and the safety of the others with him. After that, he comes upon another group of firefighters, this time working to help yet another one of those victims. Throughout the eight-minute long video, you can see the chaos. There are a lot of police and firefighters, and Maring Way is blocked off. Most of the people in the park look younger, like teenagers. Police say there were 500 of them in the park last night. You can see them running and trying to get away from the situation. The man who took this video says he was glad to walk out uninjured. So that man asked to remain anonymous. He says that he didn't know any of the victims, but of course sends his support this evening. He says that he was just at the Riverfront Park to watch the fireworks with friends and family. For now, live from Children's Hospital, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News, back to you. Tessa, thanks. I'm sure everyone else down there is also thankful to be alive. You can get another look at that video she just showed us on Local 12's Facebook page.